centuries upon centuries before the Spanish set foot in the Americas, Oaxaca possessed a vortex of healing. Still present today, this is one man's quest for answers. Donde los terremotos, where the earthquakes. Uno, chapter one. said that the earthquakes in the metropolis of Oaxaca because the gods are trying to take back what nature owns. Jamie tells Harrison that he must retreat to nature. Follow the path from the city into the mountains, for it is said the mountains are holy and the mountains are safe. TJ Bottom, Rio Lakeshore, and Travis Weller emerge from the mountain into small towns. Runners tell Harrison they have seen water flowing from a rock face. Harrison is on his journey in the land of Hongos. The Hongos are the mushrooms that are said to cleanse the spirit. It has led him deep into the woods. He builds a fire to keep himself warm. Within the smoke, he sees a vision vision he must follow. Dos, in search of the caves. He sees a man ascending the rock. Climber, Drew Smith. Drew tells Harrison he must climb his own mountain. Harrison continues on his journey. Jeff Johnson does not climb a rock today. He is there to support one who must climb himself. Harrison spots a troubadour on the roadside, musician Matt Costa. He offers a ride in exchange for a tune. Drew has a lead on where the caves exist. From the summit of the rock, he has seen an opening where the fog arose. Parting ways with the magic bus, Drew finds one man who knows the ancient trail. They traverse through the jungle, miles 
hundreds of miles until they reach a cave opening. Trace, the Cave of Offerings. Yo donde yo he visto más es aquí donde viene ser Through a mixture of Spanish and native Mazatec, Drew understands very little. But what he does gather is that the man is leading him into a portal of healing. Es como ese cerro sagrado nomás está casa de nuestra abuelita y el cerro sagrado donde se puede ser una sanación. Es lo que Cuatro. The altar. Qué bueno que la gente, los turistas que suben este cerro sagrado, que suba con mucho fe y con mucho respeto. Y ella deja una ofrendita, una veladora o cacao allá arriba, es la ofrenda que se le hace el chicón tocoso o fruta. Cuando alguien tiene fe y respeto, aquí se va a sanar, se va a curar. Though their paths differ, Harrison reconvenes with Drew and the runners on the sacred mountain. In our runners' hands are candles, the light they are searching for. Pero si el enfermo no tiene fe, no tiene respeto a él mismo, no se va a sanar. They have found the offering table. Tears well up in their eyes as they look over the valley. Tears as rain oxidized on Spanish statues. Where the man meets the mountain is the breath of some unknown god. Here the earth does not quake, but the man quakes. One must descend from his own mountain. Matt tells Harrison, as a melody must rise, it must also descend. So Harrison makes his way towards the sea. It is not the sun who is in darkness, but man who exists in the shadows. Harrison is not the first to visit the sacred mountain. Others are in the midst of their own transformation. And thus, Nate, Parker, Iva, and finally Harrison rise from the tide in the eternal dawn.
birds go, they are given an animal counterpart. The bird spreads its wings. The horse, with its untamed power and strength, can go where roads end. The animal self is woven deep in the tapestry. I said like a spirit freed of terrestrial form. It is here our journey concludes in Donde Los Terremotos. Flores de montar en los dones terremotos Los flores de montar 